And when I say loud as hell, I mean if he was taking a nap on the couch, you could hear his ass from the outside. He'd be like, <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Hey everyone, SMG here, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be reacting to Bruce Dew's newest upload from a few days ago called Bruce Dew Cub Scout Camp. Now, Ayo, Cub Scouts is honestly a little, it's fun for some people, but if you're a gamer like me, you're going to hate it. And yeah, I didn't like it because I wanted to be on the computer all the time, and well, just, yeah, I just found it boring. Anyways guys, we're going to see Bruce Dew's part of the story, so Ayo, hey, go subscribe to Bruce Dew Films, make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, share, and all the good jazz, and make sure you watch the original video, link down below. And without further ado, let's get it in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Alright, now when I was a kid, Cub Scouts was a big deal. And in Cub Scouts, you do all sorts of stuff. You race blocks of wood down a ramp, you carve oh. animals out of soap with a sweet pocket. I remember uh, the, the to go to carts. Cub Scout camp. Now our Cub Scout camp was in this random plot of land in the middle of the city. I never went to camp. To Miyakonda. Miyakonda never went to camp in a Cub Scouts, by the way. Translates to land never. Adjacent to a Kmart. And my little 10 year old Kmart. Even pronounced Camp Miyakonda. To me, it was always Camp Anaconda. Anaconda my Anaconda course, don't. An my proper, Anaconda don't. Shitty Jennifer Lopez movie. Now at Camp Anaconda, our main goal was to earn merit. I badges. thought it was a Nicki say, Minaj it was easy song. For us to earn these merit badges because our Cub Scout leader wasn't very good at his job. He liked to half-ass a lot of things. We'd be standing in the middle of the woods, and he'd be like, "Uh, yeah, you guys know fire is really hot, right?" Uh, Obviously. Okay, Here's your fire safety badge. You guys know when you get lost in the woods, you're supposed to eat berries and fucking try to find your way out, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Funny. Perfect. Here's your forest survival badge. But of all the badges that you could oh. earn, nothing was more important than your arrow of light badge. Because your arrow of light badge proved that you were no longer just not a, a fucking Boy Legend Scout. of Zelda you're a weapon. Blown Boy Scout. You're a man now. You're a fucking man scout. <laughs> so what the fuck? Also, not a legend. Kind of That's a Breath of the Wild reference. Reference, but earn our even though it says life. not, on this particular trip, but my dad decided to chaperone because, well, it's hard for one person to manage a bunch of punk ass kids in the woods. I don't think he was excited for it. What the babysit a bunch of shitheads in the middle of the woods? Not really, no. And I can't really blame him. No, nope. in order to get your arrow of light, you I mean, certain is Brew and his friends like uh, shitheads? Maybe, I don't know. Say no Girl Scout bullshit where if you sell two cookies, brownies, you get 19 fucking badges on your sachet. No, it was a big deal. But with our lame ass Cub Scout leader, we just had to do the bare minimum. Uh, okay, it says here you guys gotta know how to tie a square knot. Can you do that? Uh, I can tie my shoes. Good enough for me. Next one here, you have to memorize the Scout code. A Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thirsty, brave, clean, well, reverent. Well, he's got that Christ. one. Timmy, that was a bit overkill, don't you think? God damn, I would have accepted be good <laughs> or not be an asshole for Christ's sake. Now, our final test for our arrow of light happened inside of the cabin that we were staying in on the last night of the trip. All right. Here's the deal. You guys can get your little arrows of light as long as you keep this fire lit all night tonight and you don't burn down the cabin and murder everybody, okay? So naturally, we all decide to take two-hour shifts watching the fire while the rest of us slept. And because it was my brilliant-ass idea, I got the first shift. Now, staying up for fire duty was pretty easy for two reasons. For mm -hmm. one, our scout leader told us this really fucked-up scary story right before bed, and it traumatized the hell out of us. Hey, you kids ever That's hear good. about the Manitoba Mangler? The Manitoba Mangler? Yeah, it's a story about a Mangle guy that from a bunch FNAF. Of I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, he hacked them all up into pieces with 1980s. Oh, totally if enough reference. For those of you that don't know, I'm joking my again. dad likes to snore loud as hell. And when I say loud as hell, I mean if he was taking a nap on the couch, you could hear his ass from the outside. He'd be like <laughs> Exactly, exactly, exactly. Be people walking down the street and shit. What the hell was that? A goddamn wildebeest? Hell, oh, he'd <laughs> snore so loud, sometimes he'd wake his own ass up. Ah, what the fuck was that? There's no <laughs> beast in here. That was there you. I am on Firewatch. My dad's snoring like he's possessed by the fucking devil. At this point, the whole cabin's awake. Jesus Christ, that man's septum is deviated as fuck. Some little kid's <laughs> in the cabin taking a piss, wondering what the hell's going on. Hey yo, Bruce Dew is funny as fuck. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that. So needless to say, 
say we didn't catch the goddamn cabin on fire because, well, nobody got to sleep that night except for my dad. The next morning, everybody's pissed off at him. Hey, uh, the next time you want to help me out with a bunch of kids, can you not snore like it's the fucking apocalypse? So shout out to my dad's demonic ass snoring because without that, we wouldn't have got our little goddamn arrows of light. The end. Bruce do. Bruce do. Thanks com. for watching, everybody. Real quick, I wanted to shout out Alex Clark, who did a cartoon on the same subject. For those of you that don't know, he doesn't do baby shit anymore. He says bad words now, like piss and uh, jabroni. You know, Does the, worst he? the worst. So make sure you check out his cartoon. So he's no longer family friendly. I I gotta check out his version. I don't react to Alex Clark uh, on the channel, but uh, I'm gonna check out his video on my own time. Anyways, guys, yeah, make sure you watch the original video, subscribe to Bruce New Films, make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and share and all the good jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next one. There, guys, thanks for watching, deuces.